Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you, amazing guys and girls, the difference between an LED lightsaber and a NeoPixel lightsaber. And yeah, I've actually been asked this question a few times now on the channel, like the differences between an inhale LED and a NeoPixel, like what is the benefits and... Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you all the breakdowns. However, before we start the video, I do want to say a few big pieces of information. Please do not skip ahead. They're really important. I know someone's going to ask me these questions, so I'm going to answer them right now. First of all, and this is a straight up fact, right? NeoPixel lightsabers, they are more expensive than LED lightsabers. So please keep that in mind. Secondly, this is not me comparing hilts or anything like that, or I'm not comparing companies, I'm only comparing LEDs and NeoPixel. Third thing, and I personally get asked this all the time, y'all, so I'm gonna say it right now. The blade technology does not determine if your lightsaber has smooth swing. This is an Ultra Sabers Apprentice V4. Now, it has the Obsidian V4 sound font, which is pretty much their, like, premium soundboard. However, the soundboard itself does not support smooth swing. And this is my Revenchist lightsaber from Vader's Vault, and yes, it is NeoPixel, but if you take that aside, because you can buy this saber on vadersvault.com with an inhill LED. But because the soundboard is CFX, aka Crystal Focus 10, which does support smooth swing, it means you still can have smooth swing and an inhill LED. So I just want to throw that out there. It's the soundboard, it does not mean anything, man. Just because you've got NeoPixel does not mean you're guaranteed to have smooth swing, and this is the same thing. On this hill, about half of the sound fonts have smooth swing, half of them do not. Just wanted to make that crystal clear, y'all, because a lot of people in the community still think you can only get smooth swing if you have NeoPixel, but that is not the case, y'all. You've got CFX, Profi, Profi, however you pronounce it. If you've got any of that stuff, Golden Harvest, you're going to have smooth swing. But yeah, if your soundboard doesn't support it, you ain't gonna have it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off today's video. Now, a lot of this stuff, you will probably already know already if you're in the lightsaber community, but if you're new, if you're fresh, you're thinking about getting into the hobby, hopefully this video will help you out. Right, so we're gonna go back to the Apprentice V4. This is made by Ultra Sabers, and you can see it has one single purple LED inside the hill. And this is the Archon V2, also made by Ultra Sabers. And if you look inside, you can see what's called a Tri-Cree, which means there's three LEDs inside. It also means it's a tiny bit brighter. You also can get what's called an RGB, which means you have an in-hill LED, but you can cycle through multiple colors. And this is my Revengeist lightsaber made by Vader's Vault. If you have a little peek down there, you can see there is no LED. Instead, we have NeoPixel pins. And the way NeoPixel works, you've got the pins when they make contact with the blade which I will show in a minute that allows you to light the blade up right so the next thing I want to talk about is lighting up the lightsabers when the blade is not attached they're both similar and also very different both of these lightsabers have blade plugs however I'll start with the inhill LED you power it up you can see the blade plug lights up and it gives you a nice little shine however you don't technically need a blade plug because obviously you've got an inhill LED you don't need a blade plug, you're just going to get colour shining through whenever it's on. Now, where NeoPixel is totally different, obviously you don't have an LED, you've got the NeoPixel pins. So if you don't have a blade plug, some sabers won't even turn on, but a lot of them will turn on without a blade plug or a blade inserted. If you don't have that, obviously you're going to get no shine through. However, I did get a blade plug with my Revenge's lightsaber from Vader's Vault, so it actually is a pancake connector, exactly similar to the blade. I'll show you in a minute. They connect to the pins and then... That is so loud. When you turn this bad boy on, you get your shine through. I've only just noticed as I'm editing the video, you can't actually see it, so here we go. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is the blades. Now, just to keep it totally fair, both blades, they are 32 inches long and they are one inch diameter. And this is pretty much your standard blade. This is an Ultra Sabers Ultra Edge blade, I believe it's called, but they're pretty much the same anywhere you look. And you can see inside it's hollow and it's got the reflective film. And this is a NeoPixel blade from Vader's Vault. On the outside, it looks pretty much the same. However, when we go to the base, you can see the pancake connector. This is what needs to be compressed against the NeoPixel pins in order to light the saber up. Also, when it comes to blades, a NeoPixel blade, if you've held one, then you know, it is slightly heavier than your standard shine-through blade. And also, when it comes to price, I've personally, you probably maybe find cheaper, but for me personally, to get a good one, you ain't going to find a NeoPixel blade cheaper than $100. They are quite expensive, man. So please do keep that in mind. However, with a shine-through blade, 
I'm pretty certain you can get this eBay, Etsy, maybe even Amazon, man, and pretty much every single Sabre company sell their own versions of blades. Right, so the next thing I'll talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is some of the features and just different things you can do between an LED Sabre and a NeoPixel one. The first thing you will notice is the ignition and retraction on a NeoPixel blade. It gives you that realistic look, so it actually looks like a real lightsaber lighting up and then going back into the hill. That is properly sick. With an LED, it's just pretty much your standard, the light turns on, the light turns off. Also, regards to blaster deflections, but side note, not every single company offers like free flash and clash. You, some companies, you have to pay extra or for blaster deflections or an OGS button, all that stuff. Some companies have it, some don't, so make sure you check that out. But in general, they majority have at least flash and clash or some companies do have the blaster deflection. When it comes to in-hill LED, the pretty much the blade flickers a different color. When it comes to NeoPixel, you will see a localized shot of where like the blaster hit. And yeah, the difference is this. Also with NeoPixel you have the amazing ability to change your blade profiles. With your standard LED you're pretty much going to have it on, off, you might have a pulse but it's not going to be like something you'll notice all the time. However with NeoPixel you can have your standard, you can have pulse, you can have Kylo Ren, you can have Flame Sword, Eye of Sauron, the possibilities are genuinely endless. And the last thing I'll talk about ladies and gentlemen, and it's in some cases for people the most important thing and it is blade brightness. Now if you've seen my comparison stuff before, side note actually if you want to see any of my lightsaber videos, I have a full lightsaber playlist now, I have a ton of comparison, a ton of reviews, everything you want to know will be pinned in the comment section, check it out. But yeah, if you see my other videos, you know I like to make it as fair as possible. I'm going to light both of these up with the lights on, with the lights off, and then right close up at the camera. <laughs> Right, so again, in person, they're both purple by the way, so if they appear on camera like one's a bit pinker than the other, that's just the camera settings man, but in person, genuinely they're both purple. It's a no-brainer, y'all. I don't know how well it's showing up, but this in person is stupidly brighter than the single LED. And yeah, with the light off, it's even more a difference. To make it totally, totally fair, again we're using the Neo Pixel Vader's Vault. This is an Ultra Sabers Archon, and it has a tri Cree green setup. So this is brighter than a single LED. So yeah, let's just check out the difference. Again, they are both the exact same light, pretty much shade of green. I don't know how old well the camera's going to pick it up, but again, with the light on, it's an easy win for Neo Pixel, man. And with the light off, it is apparent. Again, I don't know how well it's going to show up until I edit this video. But in person, the NeoPixel is destroying it, man. Absolutely destroying it. It is so much brighter light. I hope the camera's picking it up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my comparison between an LED in hilt lightsaber and a Neo Pixel lightsaber. Now, I do want to say a few quick things before I cut the camera off. First of all, not everyone wants a Neo Pixel and not everyone wants an LED. It really does depend on what you want. I know, like, some companies advertise Neo Pixel as 
dueling sabers. <laughs> You will never catch me dueling with a NeoPixel lightsaber. Uh, there is no way, mate. I would never want to break the tech inside that. It's extremely, extremely expensive, man. And the blades, again, I haven't found anything under $100. I don't want to be paying like $100 every time I duel someone. Just nah, yo. I ain't about that life. But on the flip side, I've taken my LED lightsabers to so many Comic Con conventions. Like, if you followed me from Instagram, you know my main Instagram account. Right at the start, it was purely cosplay based. I've done so many cosplay stuff, and of course, a bunch of that is Star Wars. And I've taken my Ultra Sabers in Hilt. LED sabers to conventions, yo. Sure, in daylight, they look kind of dead. I mean, it's just like a tube with a little bit of a light inside. It's not the best thing ever. However, where it shines, yo, is in dueling, fighting, all that stuff. If you're about that life, in hill LEDs, for me anyway, you might disagree, but for me, definitely go in that direction, man. If something breaks, it is hella, hella a lot cheaper to fix that than a NeoPixel saber. And of course, on the other side of the coin, if you want the brightest, if you want unstable effects, you want just... A more realistic lightsaber, you have to go with Neopixel. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's my overall thoughts. I still love both. Me, personally, I don't think I'm going to be buying in LEDs anymore. I now prefer realistic-looking lightsabers. So I think, for me, Neopixel is definitely the way forward. I definitely prefer that. But if you see my older videos where I'm talking about Ultra Sabers and all these other companies, you can tell I loved it. Because back in the day, two, three years ago, I did absolutely love it. They were like the pinnacle, yo. If you take an in LED... And you take a look at like Master Replicas or Hasbro or whatever Disney has now. The in LEDs, they're going to blast it, mate. They're so much brighter. But when you start touching your pixel, it's a whole nother beast, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope today's video has helped at least one person out. If it has, a mission accomplished, yo. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May the force be with you. And I'll see you all in the next one.